we've been looking for a property for a, a good period really and not found anything and my wife saw this on on right move and said well I need to go and have a look at this it was a development property mm. the existing property was a very old police house which was falling to pieces it was currently being rented the garden was just a complete dumping ground we'd always wanted to build our own house or, or renovate a, an older property but in hindsight i think building new was better economically better and environmentally also better certainly it's a, it's a much more comfortable property inside because we've gone for new rather than renovated old. So that was our original plan, was to go and build a Georgian style stone house on this property. But um, the planning department had different ideas about that, unfortunately. Um, because we are on the edge of the Cotswolds, um, they wanted us to put something um, appropriate in place, which was um, a Cotswold cottage style property with gable, gable ends and things like that. We caved, um, got this signed off and then started the process of um, working out how to build it. We quickly worked out that what, we, what would, would be good for us would be timber frame. In the meantime we were looking for materials. We weren't allowed to do bricks. We didn't really want wet render so we were going down through either reconstituted stone or full blown console stone. So um, we looked at a few quarries, uh, looked at the costings and we decided to build it in the most expensive material we could do. We tackled virtually everything really. Um, we were here from dawn till dusk when we weren't working obviously, but um, well he's on in the, in the mud and demolition and clearing out the garden. Um, as the timber frame went up we were sort of a bit more hands off obviously because they, they were there, contracted, come in, put the thing up. The hardest task, which was one of your questions that we had was what was the most difficult actually? Boarding out this property was a challenge. The, the, the ceiling boards are acoustic 15 mil boards and they're heavy. And two of you trying to put that up and screw them up is it's a challenge. I, I, I think we both like, or well, the whole family likes the area where we've created around the kitchen and the family room. It's just an L-shaped area. Um, while you're cooking, you can, you can converse, somebody can be watching the telly, music, there's a dining room in there, there's a dining table in there. It just fits, you know. You build the rest of the house and you live in one room because that's such a really nice room to sit in, you know. In the whole property, the best buy, for economic reasons, has been the heat pump. It's a ground source heat pump. Um, there's 600 metres of pipe work in the garden, one and a half metres down, in three trenches. Um, that was a challenge to put in, and the builder was not overly impressed in trying to create three trenches in the size of the plot we'd got. But Ice Energy had, had done the calculations and we got through that. Um, it's on the floor heating throughout. So we're on a, an ambient 22 degrees throughout the year. Um, and I reckon we'll, we'll come down to our 75 a month total energy bill, total electricity bill for the whole property, which is really a phenomenal. So plus, on the plus side, we get £100 a month back from the government on our HI for the next seven years. So, well... <laughs>